Hello and welcome to How Do I Homeschool? My name is Rebecca Devitt and today we're going to be talking about why I was homeschooled. A lot of people have asked me why my parents would homeschool me. Well, their reasons had to do mostly with the bad school environment. So we went to a Christian school when I was quite young. So I did kindy one and two, and I had an older brother and a younger brother who also did school either side of me. And what my parents found was we were quite easy to train, but then when we went to school, we didn't know how to listen to them very well. And at the time we were going to a church and our church had a lot of people who were homeschooling their children. And because of all the problems we were having, so my parents um, saw that my older brother was becoming a little bit of a bully. My younger brother was uh, being bullied and he was actually becoming more shy when he went to school. And I was um, doing other things to try and fit in peer pressure. I was starting to steal from the local coals to get things I wanted to try and fit in with my peers. And my parents just saw all of that and said, oh my goodness, they're going, they're really going astray. And they said, homeschooling, surely it's not going to be any worse uh, than what we're seeing happening to our children um, at, at the moment. And so that was why I was homeschooled, because my parents wanted to take me out of that bad school environment. The other issue was that um, my brother and I weren't doing very well academically at school and I was just having um, tr trouble with the material and just didn't feel like um, I found it very easy to learn and my older brother was um, they they ended up diagnosing him with ADHD and um, because they said, you know, he's just got so much energy and he can't concentrate on what he's doing. And it was interesting because when we went into the homeschooling environment, my older brother, he could, you know, kick out all of his energy and he could focus much more easily on his homework. And so we didn't have an issue. In fact, that older brother who did struggle uh, in, you know, kindy and one, he, he went on to do a master's of architecture and get good marks with that. And I was pretty much at the bottom of my class and I got into medical school and studied that for a while. So there was nothing wrong with our learning. Um, we would just say that it probably wasn't the best environment for us. At home, you only have to do two or three hours uh, of, of work um, and you could do all, all the work that a child could do uh, in, in a school day in that short period of time. And then you could spend the rest of the time doing whatever you want. So we spent a lot of time um, in our backyard doing different things. And um, when I was a little bit older, we were able to help out with chores a little bit more. Um, there was, yeah, there was just lots more opportunities and it was a lot more interesting. The other thing is a lot of homeschoolers become very good readers because they have so much free time that they just devour book after book after book. And uh, that was the story of my homeschooling uh, experiences. I just devoured so many books and got quite good at reading. And I love reading to this day. And, and that really does help. So that's the story about, um, yeah, how I came to be homeschooled and my brothers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, pre please subscribe and like. See you next time.